Is your summer body ready? We have the answer. Hey guys, it's Cass, nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center. I want to talk to you guys today about hormones, testosterone in particular. So I have a lot of questions from friends, family, and my patients. Should I test my hormones? Well, that's a great question. I think the answer is yes. So some may ask, what are the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, some of the symptoms may be being tired constantly, being irritable, depressed and not interested in events with friends and family, decreased muscle mass and strength, slower recovery, decreased sexual health, sexual dysfunction, weight gain. Those are all some of the signs of low testosterone. We as human beings naturally our testosterone can decrease with age illnesses with medication and lifestyle choices such as you know being overweight obesity lack of exercise so some of the benefits of balancing out your hormones such as your testosterone can be increasing your quality of life being able to enjoy friends and family and you know events around you more often also having better energy levels being less irritable increasing your sexual health increasing overall wellness decreasing fat increasing muscle mass increasing muscle gain decreasing insulin resistance so evaluating if you are deficient on your hormones is achieved with a simple blood test we can know where your levels fall. We'll find out in a few days. We can put together a plan to balance out your hormones and bring back the happiness and you know, vitality to your life. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. And once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. Hey guys, this is gonna be a two-part Cupid's Corner, so I want you guys to stay tuned. What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. This beautiful Sunday. We're here to give you guys the advice and tips you guys need for the relationships, to make those bad boys better. Make sure you guys are good with your partner, fluid back and forth, communication is communication open, right? Communication is key, always. We, we always, say it in every episode. We do, we say it in every episode. So I mean, it goes along with a lot of key, basic, fundamental things. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna cover some of those subjects with you guys today. So the first one, first subject we're gonna talk about is behaving when your significant other is not around. This is a true story, guys. You must behave. Now, elaboration on this. All right, so the elaboration on this is means that, you know, it, it's all good if you're in front of your significant other with, with your significant other and you're being good. It's a whole different thing when your significant other is not around and you're not being good or you're giving in to that temptation out there. There's a lot of it out there, right? I mean, especially now, and I think I just recently put a post out about lots of lots and lots of people out there on social media sharing their wonderful bodies with the world uh -huh. and there's a way to do that and still respect yourself but that's a whole other topic on its own but i mean for example just an example to share with you guys you know obviously we have instagrams we have facebook's we have twitter we have all these different platforms that you guys can go on to and make friends or whatever it is that you guys do but 
a lot of times somebody might like your picture they might write you in the inbox hey how you doing sliding those dms sliding in the dm yeah so when that happens what you should do is you should just block them. i know that sounds a little abrasive guys it sounds abrasive but i think it's the best thing to do because i feel like even if you initiate a conversation stating i have a boyfriend i have a husband i have this whatever it might be I feel like it's just you're initiating a conversation that could probably lead somewhere where it shouldn't lead to. But if you block them, there is no conversation initiated whatsoever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, no, I, I definitely think that she's right for sure. Uh, at that point, you know, I mean, right now it's kind of a different situation. If we're all locked in the house and you pretty much aren't going anywhere, <laughs> but you could be doing things, you know, like, you know, communicating with people online or, or whatever it may be uh, with technology the way it is. And uh, you're not being good, right? You know, you know you're not being good. In the back of your mind, it's telling you, hey, listen, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Or would you have done that in front of your wife? Oh, that's that, all You should story. ask yourself that question. Yeah. Would you have done that in front of your wife? Would you have acted that way if your wife was sitting right next to you? You should act as if your wife is watching you at all times. Oh, man. Now you got to worry about big brother. Now you got to worry about the wife, too. <laughs> big wifey. Oh, man. That's, that's messed up, man. There's cameras everywhere, especially nowadays. So you always got to worry about things like that, you know? Um, so, I mean, it makes you feel better as a person, too, when you know you've done the right thing. When you're not doing the right thing, you feel guilty. You, or some of you might not feel guilty. I don't know. You should probably <laughs> you if should. you don't. You know, and at that point, if you don't feel guilty, then maybe that's not the relationship for you. But, uh, you know, you should really want to do good, be, you know, without your significant other right next beside you. They shouldn't have to police you. They shouldn't have to, you know, tell you, you know, you're doing wrong or whatever it is. And at that point, if you guys have that open communication, you know the boundaries. You know what's going to make your significant other mad or what you shouldn't be doing against them um, and vice versa. Um, and that's a respect thing. That's boundaries there that are set, you know. So, I mean every relationship could be different you know mm -hmm. some things some relationships you know the wife or the husband they think that thing's okay like the picture online or wherever it is and that's and they're fine. okay with that yeah that's fine you know but you know if you accept um these you, these other boundaries that hey listen you know i don't want you doing this and i don't want you doing that and you have to accept and go along with them if you're going to be in a relationship and you want the relationship to work because if not it's probably not going to work or you guys are going to keep fighting and going against head to head on some of these different things and it could just possibly get worse and that that's no good for either one of you guys you know so you, you want to make sure that both parties are happy you know and if you're married you know a happy wife is a happy life you know that saying <laughs> real well okay you married guys out there because i know how it is so I've, I've been there i've seen it i've done it all um so at that point you know just do right and like i said you can look yourself in the mirror you know you're doing the right thing you know, there's nothing that they, nobody can ever bring up against you. You know, I've heard from all sides of the stories, especially from my friends. You know, mm -hmm. some of these guys, they aren't married, but they're in relationships or they have been relationships. And some of the things that they pulled or, <laughs> or, or tried to get away with or did get away with, and I won't name no names. But at that point when I seen it and I was like, oh, my God, it's like a movie or like a TV show or something. I can't believe you're doing this. You know, but at that point, you know. I mean, you have to make sure, too. I mean, remember, I mean, me and John in our city anyway, we're pretty well known in the area. So usually yeah. if something was to happen i'm sure i'd find out about it anyway or he'd find out about it anyway yeah. because everything goes around town so quickly i think that's in any city we always say oh our city's so small everybody knows each other but i think that's in pretty much any yeah any city where i don't know I, I think they got an easier flag with me if i'm dri driving a titan wrap car i always hey, know i see john, john driving here i'm like oh my god this is crazy <laughs> like when you're at the mall he's like, i was trying to get you a gift so you know if you got a regular car you might be able to get away with it a little bit but if somebody knows your car or knows that they've seen you then that that could cause problems or issues with you other red light cameras if you're driving somewhere you shouldn't be driving and you get a you ticket get in the mail yep you boom you're caught so at that point just don't do anything <laughs> what are you wrong doing off of, off of the right? street? do the right thing and, and and things will go a lot better for you and listen if you feel like you're getting too locked down or whatever it is from your significant other or partner you need to communicate with them and talk to them about those boundaries and maybe loosen up some of those boundaries instead of tighten them down yep. now if you guys get in a scenario you guys have never been in before <laughs> Okay, <laughs> at that point now listen this could happen a lot of different times, right? So if it does happen then you guys need to communicate either after that situation is done or pull one another aside and talk about what's going on and talk about how you guys want to proceed mm -hmm. 
-hmm. right? So it's crazy, you know. I mean, it, it, it's different things, different cities, different places, and uh, you know, hopefully, getting out of this thing that we're in right now, people are going to be wanting to go out. They're penned up. They want to do other things. So just do the right thing and do a lot of things with your partner. It'll grow your bond together and a lot better for you guys. You right? guys know what the right thing is to do. Do the right thing, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned to part two of Cupid's Corner after all these great segments coming up. Hey, guys. Very excited. Got news. We can officially test for the serology COVID-19 antibody test through a major lab anywhere in your zip code. We can send you in. That's right. Tight Medical Center can help you find out if you have the antibodies to COVID-19. This is not some South Korea test or Chinese test. This is through an American lab in your zip code. We can send you in. You can find out if you have the antibodies to COVID-19, the IgG. This is major, this is huge. Take advantage of it. See if you have the antibodies. It's real simple and real easy. We're gonna screen you, set you up in the lab in your area. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. Find out if you have the antibodies to COVID-19. Thanks guys. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just wanna let you guys know about a really cool peptide therapy that we offer for weight loss. So this therapy is called AOD9604. It is fragmented from the C-terminus fragment of human growth hormone. So it is uh, basically, they take the molecule chain of growth hormone, found the portion specific to the lipophilic and lipogenic portion of that molecule chain that helps the way the body destroys fat and utilizes fat from foods for energy um, and prevents it from becoming a stored fat in the body. With this therapy, you can take it as a subcutaneous injection in the belly fat tissue, or you can actually do it as a rapid dissolve tablet under the tongue. So for those of you who don't like needles, we also have you covered for that as well. So give us a call, 727-389-3220. We look forward to hearing from you. Hey guys, I'm sure with everything going on right now, you guys are worried about your immune systems and your health. So don't worry guys, Titan Medical Center has your back. We have the tools to help you build your immune function so you guys can hopefully not get sick or hopefully get over sickness quicker. Let's talk about some of the therapies that Titan Medical Center has. One is glutathione. Glutathione is a super antioxidant that will help build your immune system and hopefully help you get over sickness quicker. Now, you can do this in the comfort of your own home, office, or car by a little needle like this, an insulin needle with an intramuscular injection. You can also come in the office and get an injection of glutathione by itself, or you can be put into an IV to help you out there. Let's talk about another one, zinc chloride. So zinc right now especially is very, very popular. And this is a good one to help you boost your immune system as well. A lot of people take it over the counter. A lot of people are taking this over the counter and taking some of these things over the counter would be non-effective or not as effective. The reason why the transportation rate and the absorbency is a lot better through an IM intramuscular injection or through an IV intravenous through an IV, right? So at that point, you'll get better results or absorb a lot more and faster through these injections or through an IV. Well, let's not forget though, also with over-the-counter things, you really don't know what's in it. There's nobody that's actually regulating that stuff to right. tell you that if it is 500 milligrams on the label, is it really 500 milligrams in the pill? That's true, that's true. And that goes as for, go for it, vitamin C. Vitamin C is another one. And this is injectable form that you can give intermuscular to yourself, or you can come down to the clinic and get it done here for yourself. Now, let's remember what she said. You don't know what you're getting in an over-the-counter supplement. It's not being regulated like it is from a US licensed pharmacy. Everything that Titan Medical Center does is prescribed by a medical provider and comes from a U.S. licensed pharmacy. So you know you're getting the very best for your body. Let's talk about another one, 
Alpha lipoic acid, another major antioxidant. The best thing about these are, is you can mix them in an IV bag and get all of these things. You can do these in intramuscular shots like we talked about. So you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck and a lot more benefit from taking these intramuscular or through IV. Now remember when he says intramuscular injection, it's with a very tiny baby insulin syringe. Someone like me, I'm not too fond of needles. But in a crisis like this, I guess I'm gonna suck it up and take the shot. <laughs> yeah. We also have Nectar of the Gods, which is a great one that has glutathione and NAC, which is cystocystalline. So at that point with arginine and with lysine, which is another immune system booster, it's got another couple of ingredients in it that will help you A, perform better, B, build up your immune system, and you should feel better on these injectables. So if you're looking for the very, very best for your body, then call or text Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. Ask us about our immune system boosters and all our great blends that we have for you guys. Please check out TitanMedicalCenter.com and always check out our social medias for all the great new things that Titan Medical Center has coming because we always stay cutting edge for you guys and our patients. Looking forward to helping everybody out there build their immune system and get over this virus. Um, you know, so the, the second part of that, you know, um, basically when you, you have your significant other, you want to make sure that uh, you're not talking or doing the wrong thing as far as... When it comes to your friends and family members. Now, this goes a long way. Yeah. So as far as when you get into a fight with your significant other, say you guys get into a blowout argument, okay? Yep. Now you guys are mad at each other. Let's say you decide to get in the car and go for a drive because you want to cool off. Right, you get in the car, you have your phone on you, obviously you're probably not gonna call your significant other because you just left the house yep. to get away from your significant other. Yep. So you pick up the phone, you call your mom, you call your dad, you call your best friend, you call whoever you talk to to share with them exactly what happened because you're trying to vent. We all understand That's that. That's the natural thing, I guess, we right? We get it, we get it. Venting is natural. It is natural to want to vent. But you have to remember the repercussions that take place when you start to vent. When you start telling, you know, I, I call we call it the dirty laundry, or you put it on Facebook or oh, Instagram man. or anything. Now the whole world knows about this problem that you and your significant other had. But you guys will probably, hopefully, resolve. And then when it does get resolved, now you have some other family members or friends that are either A, are mad at your significant other for doing whatever it is that they did to you, or B, they might be mad at you for going back to your significant other. <laughs> so it just creates bad situations altogether. It's just not good. You should try to work it out with your significant other and you know, maybe listen to some music on your drive and cool down for a second and then come back and talk about it. But as far as sharing that information with your friends and family, it becomes a very thin line because you don't want to tell them too much information. It's True. Well, I mean, you know, the natural reaction from your family member, or like me as a family member, if somebody told me that, is I'm going to take their side, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I might listen to them, like, you know, screw that person, you know? They don't, you know, they don't deserve you, whatever it is. And they can say a million different things. And, you know, now they have their opinion on the subject and opinion on that person. Mm -hmm. And there might have been some things you left out in that story, okay? <laughs> There's three sides to every so story. So you might have left some things out of what you did or what happened or whatever. And now they, they form this opinion and judgment against uh, the person you're dating, your husband, whatever it may be. And then that's going to create problems for you down the line, like she's saying. Like, mm -hmm. So, I mean, you want to be able to resolve or keep in house any problems that you guys are having to try to get over them together. Mm -hmm. um, and once you start spreading that news out there, the family's going to take your side, your kids are going to take your side, your friends should take your side. Mm -hmm. you know. And some people actually, they, they look at this as an opportunity. They, they, they've seen what you have before and they want to get erupt and disrupt that in between you guys. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing you guys got to watch out for, you know. You're giving people this valuable information and, and it's you're feeling vulnerable in that situation in that time. Mm -hmm. And they can take advantage of that vulnerability and it's happened a lot. I've seen that happen a, quite a few times in my life on guys and girls. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that that's one realistic thing that's out there. And then airing your laundry 
uh, your dirty laundry on Facebook or Instagram could be one of, probably one of the worst it's things you could possibly do. Probably one of the worst things. Now, you let can me do. tell you. So this goes into people trying to slide in your DMs. You know, they're trying to play, you know, Romeo or Juliet to you. They're trying, you know, come in there, Prince Charming. Like, oh baby, oh nobody should do this. And how get, dare he do that to you? You know, this. I don't know, how dare I, she do that to you? This is crazy. So you know, so that that's one thing. Two. We've seen all these people, and really what they're doing is they're not trying to console you. They're sitting back and they're eating popcorn, and they're mm-hmm. watching you guys and laughing at feeding, it. Feeding because, off of it. you know, there's not enough entertainment on Netflix. Everybody's <laughs> watched all the movies and shows on there. Tiger King is out. All right, so Tiger King's over with. Just watch that three or four times. Watch all these other different shows. Now you're watching, and I'm just using an example, the John and Sheree show on there. Oh, this is hilarious. Ha, ha, ha. And you eat your popcorn, and you're drinking your, your tea like Kermit, right? <laughs> None of my business. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, that's just one thing. And then it's document out there. All these other people know your business and shouldn't know your business. Mm-hmm. It'd be one thing if you were sharing this with a friend or family member, like you said, probably not to do. But if you had to, probably that'd be the better bet than posting on Instagram or Facebook. Mm-hmm. And then everybody know exactly what's going on. Then everybody's chiming in on your oh, stuff. And gosh. now you might start thinking this way and that way and not really even have your own thought process after yeah. that. Because now you have 500 comments about... What shoulda, coulda, yeah. and woulda went down. And this could cause more problems. It does. You it know, with the relationship. So, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever your significant other sees that, and they see all these kind of, then, mm-hmm. you know, they, they're getting insulted by this. You know, they're taking this one way and now, now it's starting a whole different problem that yep. you guys already had and adding on top of it. Yep. So, you guys are compounding problems, which is, is not a good thing. Eats. You know, most of the time, you guys should be happy and joyous or want to share different experiences, not fighting the majority of the time. You know, in some relationships, people fight majority of the time, and that, that's not good. Mm-hmm. I mean, the makeup sex can't be that good, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you, you might like fighting to a degree, but, man, <laughs> fighting that much, is, it just takes a lot of energy out of you. You know, that, that, that energy you guys can be putting into positive things or activities you guys can be doing together mm-hmm. instead of the negative ones and, and creating positive, memorable experiences instead of unmemorable, negative experiences, right? Yes. That's kind of like going to Disneyland and then going to the mud pit. You know, which one are you going to probably enjoy better? going to Disneyland. Maybe Just depends on the type of person you or are, Or actually, guess. Disneyland doesn't have it, but going to maybe Universal Studios and uh, getting a Fast Pass and then not getting to ride any of the rides. Uh, that's never fun. That would suck. That, that would happen. definitely suck. That so. would never happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are just some tips that you guys, you know, Remember, we're going to get out of the situation we're in, right? So if you're stuck at home with your significant other all the time, we're going to get out there. Uh, jobs are going to start opening back up. People are going to start, go, start doing normal things, hopefully. Yes. Um, at that point, people are going to go out with you know their friends. you know. So if you're going out with your friends, don't complain about your boyfriend or husband to your group of friends or vice versa. You know, mm, uh, Guys, don't, comp- don't complain about your wife or your girlfriend to your friends because they're going to get a negative uh, you know, judgment against them mm-hmm. and, and they're going to think like that the whole time because they don't hang out with your wife or significant other or husband or whatever it is mm-hmm. to really know the true person that you have come to love or want to be with. Um, they only see what you're telling them and what they see out in the street once or twice. You know, Sometimes when they form that opinion too, you can't take it back. Oh, you can't. It's hard. You know, and now now your significant other has to earn back their respect or whatever it is. So yeah. it's that could be complicated. And then you guys try to go hang out as a group and it's awkward or whatever. Yeah, so I'll give you a real life experience. And this this was a good one, right? <laughs> so when me and Shree started dating, this this person was in in the same city, or whatever, like that. Never I never hung out with, never did anything like that. And she she, she told Sharice all this stuff about my this girl doesn't even know me like this. I'm like, it'd be one thing if <laughs> they know you, but you know, their met. impression of me was this. So this is what they thank thought. They got it and listen to her. Right? Yeah, <laughs> they got you and listen to her, right? So I mean, you, know, you can't think about that. You got to make your own judgments and stuff. You know, now if somebody's giving you a recommendation or telling you maybe some inf- inf- inside information, that might be one thing. But you got to make sure that you take that information that's credible and you make that judgment call yourself because you will be able to. Mm-hmm. Just look for the red flags if there is any. And at that point, you'll see right away, and then you can make your own informed decision about what you want to do. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so, I mean, these are just a couple great tips from me and Sharice that we've went through. We've seen some of our friends go through or other relationships out there that will probably benefit you guys in major ways. So use these two tips. Yep. One, trust, and that means at that point, your partner should not have to worry about you being good when they're not around and you. If somebody slides in your DM, you know, don't do what Sharice did. I won't tell the whole planet, but I will. When me and John first met, 
right? He would have his Facebook open. Uh, so I'd have to go in there because this was just, uh, guys, I was young, okay? I was 21. I had to do it. Go in there and see who was all writing him because I want to see. And then I would just respond to them myself as John. It was great. See, I'm still here, guys. So <laughs> He survived. He loves me. He really loves me. You know, it, it, I, I guess that, that's just a, a crazy thing, the way technology is these days, especially. You know, people are so connected to the Internet and social media and all those you know, those different apps out there, you know, the hookup apps and stuff like that, that people might have trust issues and stuff like that. So or they might be have been doing that themselves and they're feeling guilty about it and they want to go through your phone or mm-hmm. they want to check your Facebook True. or social medias and stuff True. like that. So, I mean, the thing is, just be open and, and, you know, make sure your actions are showing your partner that you're open. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're trying to constantly hide your phone from your partner, Mm -hmm. have it locked and stuff like that, or flipping it over, (laughs) you know. Now they got the the, the flip thing, the folio. They got the folio cases, or they got the privacy screens, and they've got all different types of things out there. (laughs) But, you know, be open about it. Now, that shouldn't, you know, give an open invitation for your partner to give together to be able to go through your phone or all that whenever they want. But hey, listen, if you open it up and say, hey, listen, I have nothing in here and you're honest about it, then you will not have nothing to worry about and neither will they. And if they're doing something shady at that point, like, listen, I'm, I'm wide open, you know, what about you? And, and then you guys should be like that because it should be open communication, open dialogue, um, and nothing shady, you know, on, on both of you sides. If you guys are just starting a date, you guys are just starting to find out about each other and stuff like that. And Go ahead learn, and dig, ladies. You'll dig. learn real quick. <laughs> But once you've been with somebody for so long, you live with them, you're starting to, you know, you start to, you know, catch up on, you know, their quirks or their daily routines or just certain things that might be off and might throw off. And you might be like, hey, listen, what's going on? So just be conscious behave. of these different things. Behave. Be conscious. Behave. Uh, that's the first one. <laughs> Two, don't air your dirty laundry on social media and try to handle business in-house, right? You know, it's like the old school saying, like, yep. We don't call the cops. We handle business in-house, in family, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Nobody outside the family knows our business because we're taking care of it. And that will keep you a lot tighter, man, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Um, once you once you start airing that out to everybody else, and it's like Chinese telephone. They're telling their sister, their brother, their friend. And it might not even be the same story it's you told them. The same story. It gets twisted and it comes <laughs> back a whole different way. It does. Right? A whole different way. Well, no, what, to, like, what just happened? What are you, what are you talking about That is about not here? what I told Jackie. <laughs> so just take these different things, use them, right? Apply them to your relationship, and I promise you guys will be a happier, stronger, more communicating, and truthful couple. Yes. Right? So thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate you guys joining Cupid's Corner every Sunday, the Tight Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. Me and Sharice are here for you guys. We're trying to give you guys the great tips. We'll hopefully be out in this great sunshine for summer coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> Um, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it because I know we are for sure. For sure. Um, so I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. Anything else? Nope. Just want to say thanks, guys. Thank you.